Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't know how much time I've got. I'm gonna need your help to find her. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. If this was me asking you for help, would you be there for me? I need your help, please. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. <laughs> Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping way. Then what is it? A rescue. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Nothing through here. This is a good end. Hey, I think I found a way out. I can't get my hands in between the doors. Just some surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body.
have these doors open in two seconds. better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still gotta do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. Be happy to have them both. But... You're gonna die. Yeah. But not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing and I don't want to hear anything else, okay?
Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. What about the train? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. Just lost my foot. That's all. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. Hospital must have run out of doctors. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. But that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. Need to get off this roof. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. I try not to worry about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there, 
It might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way I'm jumping that. Buy some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Another way out of there? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. Fuck, be careful. It's <clears throat> not that far, just a little hop. Get the hell out of here! They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon! He didn't have Glenn! So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck! Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. 
How are you doing with, uh, everything happening there? We were going to cut it off, but Lee objected. We're all going to end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here, so keep an eye on me. Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. We have no idea what else is out there. Boats, towns, hopes. Lee, people end up dead chasing impossible things. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am. And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben. Um... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room! Check the boards! Got it. Kimmy! Look for weapons! Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi. What is it? Go now! Front hallway! place is secure. We're patient and then we get going. Fuck! Who planned? Get 
upstairs! Go! Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you did. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before when we did not show up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! 
Well, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clea. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, Slee. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get her. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of fever. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. And tingly. Like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get another time, that's the focus. Despite how I'm feeling, I, I can't let vengeance be that thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was the first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death. It's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like he got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe he went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than me. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. 
A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> Take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Better him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? We did that? Might have. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. <laughs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. But goddamn I out. <clears throat> this place seems pretty sealed off. Wow. Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, me. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. What do you call this thing? Art? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I, I just want to help. help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Might be the way out.
Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Can I can handle this. Dude, Dude, let me, me help you. you. You're, You're already, already hurt. hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Gone. 
God damn! God! I heard, I heard a shot. shot. Can you make sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to? What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet in him. That's how he used it. God, the little fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Dave. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kate was my friend. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Clay, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we've got to do. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to go see her. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. Nobody said you're doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. Remember what I said about Clem? I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling?
do? Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! It's fucked, Lee! I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Quiet, please, sweetie. 
your things there. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things you robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I'm sorry! I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard of the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. 
Leaf, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all going to work out. What are you? I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Claire, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk. Okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. to the other room. 
There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Which way out? Through there. So and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. No. Who 
we got away. They're dead for sure. Doctor, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. But we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! Yes, 
Yeah, I do. Then I went out to rescue that boy, Claire. I met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Find Tommy and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> Me too. 